Everyone will fall before me. The entire galaxy will fall. Guys, the stone's being weird. Now is the time, Guardians! Reel them in, Quill. Only way to get a clear shot. Submit to me! I said submit! Time to get it through your oversized skull. We don't give in to anyone. I mean, seriously, have you met us? That's right. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have business cards. And we'd rather die than submit to you! You dare defy a god? Have you no notion of my... Oh, shut up! What did you say? She said you're the worst! <sighs> Your mockery mocks my very... He's gotta be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Get paid? <laughs> Not yet, but. Does this mean it's over? Like over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy! You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis. The chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. You know, the second you feel any indigestion, 
I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be. I fear we've fallen friends. And I accord my atonement for the trying to kill you and eat the galaxy. A momentary misstep. Yeah, well, sorry for all the mean stuff we said about you. <laughs> if the mark of a man is to be bridled, none other than he himself must be mandated to toil as... Does he seriously always talk like this? I mean only to say... We're good. It's just that... I'm not the one you gotta convince. Oh, certainly not. Certainly, yes. Well? Oh. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm convinced. <laughs> Really, I can sleep on the couch. The couch is filthy. I've seen the rodent relieve himself on it. She could sleep in Gamora's room. Since when? Oh, come on. You're a girl, she's a girl. You could play dolls together. There are so many things wrong with that. Well, she ain't getting my room. End of discussion. So you just have to build another bedroom, and maybe a bathroom, and convince everyone that adding another teammate is a good thing. A 12-year-old teammate. One who may or may not need you to provide... parental stuff. I mean, come on, man. You did just save the galaxy. Twice. <laughs> so, obviously, embracing this new role is definitely probably gonna be just, uh... It'll be fine. Come on. I mean, if you can handle Raker and the Magus, pretty sure you can handle a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little guidance here, some homework there. Throw in a few vegetables. <laughs> Where the flark are you gonna get vegetables? I guess Gru could make vegetables. Yes! Yes, that seems like a reasonable thing to ask him. And if everyone's willing to make just a few reasonable sacrifices here and there, I mean, you know what they're like. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, uh... Wow, uh... They have good qualities. I mean, Drax is fearless, and he's been a dad. Groot, he's, he's compassionate and protective. Rocket can teach her about crawling into things in Gamora. <laughs> Gamora. She knows about honor and discipline and, and... girl stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, so even if you don't have what it takes by yourself, you're not by yourself! <laughs> and you know what? Nikki's a part of that now. She's one of the family. And family means sticking together no matter what. Even if you gotta wing it every step of the way. <laughs> My man. Peter Quill! Peter Quill, we have decided the child will take your room. You will take the couch. It was unanimous. Wait, 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 what? Okay, we'll talk. How are we on those coordinates? Alrighty, just give the word. Where are we going again? <laughs> to buy more business cards.